Soon, the remnants of my armada were united in one last battle above the planet Jakku, unaware that they were being sacrificed as penance for their negligence. With the Empire erased from existence, something new could rise in its place. And from beyond the grave, I would control its every move. Darth Sidious with the support of the Shadow Council, which included Grand Moff Rand, General Hodna Borum, the propagandist Ferric Obdur, and the former Commandant Brendel Hux, Councillor Gallius Rax led the Imperial Loyalist forces to his homeworld of Jakku. These forces consisted of a fleet of Imperial Star Destroyers as well as Rax's flagship, the Ravager, purportedly the last remaining Super Star Destroyer in the Imperial Navy. Admiral Garrick Versio also joined the Imperial Loyalists on Jakku, adding his Star Destroyer, the Eviscerator, to Rax's fleet. The fleet also possessed interdictor vessels, Immobilizer 418 cruisers, Lambda-class shuttles, TIE line starfighters, TIE bombers and interceptors, TIE strikers, 20-gun raiders, and a TIE defender. Other Loyalist units included the 204th Imperial Fighter Wing, the Hellhound Attack Force, and Omega Flight Group. Though united in a final stand against the New Republic, the remnants of the Imperial forces were unaware that they were to be sacrificed as penance for their negligence, as the Emperor believed that they had failed in their duty to protect him. The infantry comprised standard stormtroopers along with the requisite specialist troops such as demolition troopers, heavy weapons stormtroopers, imperial officers, jump troopers, riot control stormtroopers, scout troopers, imperial shock troopers, Essen troopers, and at least one member of the Emperor's Royal Guard. These ground forces were supported by several types of military vehicles including all-terrain armored transports, all-terrain scout transports, and AK-79S80 Imperial Troop Transport. Rax established the main Imperial base beyond the Gozen Badlands and the Sinking Fields. The base housed a stormtrooper garrison and a large number of walkers. Other known Imperial facilities included an Imperial research base, the Jakku Observatory, and a remote Kessium gas rig. Unknown to the Shadow Council, the Jakku Observatory was central to the late Emperor Palpatine's contingency plan to destroy the Empire in the event of his death. The observatory contained computer-generated maps of the unknown regions and was built on top of a borehole that led to the planet's core. Rax planned to detonate the core in order to destroy Jakku along with much of the Empire and the New Republic Defense Fleet. Then he intended to lead a select group of Imperials whom he deemed worthy of joining him in the Unknown Regions to rebuild the Empire. Rax's forces including a contingent of child soldiers who were recruited from local orphans. In public, Councillor Rax claimed that he had brought the Empire to Jakku in order to toughen and harden them for their final showdown against the New Republic. Rax instituted a brutal training regime which encouraged savagery and violence among the Empire's soldiers and officers. In training sessions, officers egged their men to maul each other. Dissenters like RK-242 who questioned what the Empire was doing on Jakku were brutalized by their comrades for questioning Rax's agenda. The stormtroopers stationed on Jakku degenerated into armed thugs who developed an unkempt appearance due to the harsh, arid climate. For months, the Empire's loyalist forces waited for the New Republic to launch its attack. The prolonged state of alert began to take a toll on the Imperial forces based on Jakku. While General Borum expressed concern that the long wait was beginning to affect the sanity of his men, Grand Moff Rand supported Councillor Rax's harsh regime as a purification process. During that time, Rax also struck a deal with the hut crime lady Nima, who was the leader of a cult. In return for supplying weapons, Nima guarded the path to the Valley of the Eremite and kidnapped local orphans. These orphans were trained by Commandant Hux into Rax's personal guard of child soldiers, which he hoped would become the template of his new empire in the unknown regions. Prior to the New Republic's arrival at Jakku, Rax gave command of the children to Armitage Hux, the Commandant's illegitimate son. Meanwhile, New Republic forces launched mopping up operations against Imperial holdouts on Kashyyyk and Cloud City. Nora Wexley and her team discovered the Imperial presence on Jakku. Her son Temen Wexley and the former Imperial loyalty officer Sinja Rath Velas reported Nora's findings to the New Republic government on Chandrila. In response, Admiral Akbar dispatched the scouting ship Oculus and several probe droids into the Jakku system to corroborate Temen and Sinja's information. The scouting party found that much of the Imperial fleet had indeed retreated to Jakku and were consolidating in a defensive arrangement. Despite some political obstruction in the Galactic Senate, 
Chancellor Morn Mothma managed to pass a resolution dispatching the New Republic Starfleet to Jakku. Rax captured his rival Sloan and the former rebel operative Brenton Law Wexley, who had teamed up with Sloan to stop Rax. After capturing them, Rax gave a test demonstration of his child soldiers. As a symbolic act of his plan to tear down the Empire and start a new regime, Rax ordered his child soldiers to execute a contingent of stormtroopers. Following the demonstration, Rax imprisoned Sloan and Brenton. With the New Republic fleet entering the Jakku, Rax delivered a rousing speech claiming that the coming battle would be the Empire's final stand against the New Republic, 